In this video, we are going to discuss Spark SQL advantages and disadvantages. So under these advantages and disadvantages, we'll be discussing some set of points with one proper explanation. So let us start our discussion here. Let us discuss about the advantages of Spark SQL. Now the different advantages are there. They are integrated, high compatibility, scalability, batch processing of hype tables, performance optimization, then we are having standard connectivity and unified data access. So let us discuss one by one. So at first we are going for integrated. So Spark SQL mixes the Spark programs and SQL queries and you can run queries on structured data as RDD. Next we are going for high compatibility. So what is high compatibility and why it should be treated as advantages of Spark SQL? Because this has high compatibility of different sources. It can be using existing hype tables and also supports queries on those data. Next, we are discussing the scalability. So Spark SQL supports large jobs and it can also handle different faults related to the queries. Next one, batch processing of hype tables. So batch processing of hype tables means for fast batch processing on hype table, we can use this Spark SQL. Performance optimization. So at first SQL queries are converted as logical plans and then to physical execution plans. So at first logical plans, then to physical execution plans. And from those plans, it selects most optimal plan to execute. Next one is our standard connectivity. So it uses very common way of connectivity like JDBC or ODBC. The last one we're going for that is our unified data access. So using the Spark SQL, we can read data from different sources like our JSON, hype table, etc. Now we shall discuss the disadvantages of Spark SQL and they are unsupportive uh, union type, unsupportive character type, no error for oversight of varkar type, no support for timestamp in Avro table and no support for transactional table. So at first we are sub starting with no support for transactional table. So in Spark it does not support hype transactions. Next one we are going to discuss unsupportive union type. So Spark SQL does not access union fields. We cannot create or read those tables which contains union fields. Next one is unsupportive character type. It does not support fixed length character type data and we cannot access those tables which has that type of data as the sum of the fields. Next we are going for no error for oversight of worker type. So it does not returns any error when the inserted value exceeds the size of the value. The worker is treated as strings so there is no size limit. Next one and the last one we are going for no support for timestamp in Avro file. So Avro table supports logical timestamps but Spark SQL does not support it. Now questions might be coming what is the Avro file? So Avro is one uh, data serialization system and Avro provides rich data structures, a compact fast binary data format, a container file to store persistent data. So in this way, in this video, we have discussed Spark SQL advantages along with disadvantages. Thanks for watching this video.